Hello, I'm Mr. Howard. In this video, we are going to look at long division of polynomials. So I'm going to work four examples in this video, and then I will make another video where I work three of these same four uh, using synthetic division so that you can see both of those in action. So I'm going to start with problem one in your example section. So we have uh, v cubed minus 3v squared plus 3v minus 1 needs to be divided by v minus 1. So we have v minus 1 and we're going to divide v cubed minus 3v squared plus 3v minus 1. And this is the same way that you've always done division, the, the rules that we're going to use here. So this will look uh, similar to you and you've also done this in Algebra 2 so uh, this will just be a reintroduction to you for that. Alright so let's take a look here. So we need to get to v cubed and our first term here is what we're looking at. We have v so we are looking for what times v equals v cubed and that would be v squared. So we're going to write v squared right here. And now we multiply v squared times v, and we get v cubed. We are going to subtract all of this. Now we do v squared times negative 1. That gives me negative v squared. So v cubed minus v cubed just gives me 0. So that cancels. That's what we wanted. And negative 3v squared minus negative v squared is the same thing as negative 3v squared plus v squared. Remember, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. So basically the rule here is you're doing the opposite of whatever this sign is here because we are subtracting. So negative 3v squared plus v squared would be a negative 2v squared. All right, so now I'm looking for what times v equals negative 2v squared, and that would be a minus 2v. So minus 2v times v is negative 2v squared. Also, I needed to bring down this uh, 3v, so plus 3v here. We always bring down the next term. So now negative 2v times negative 1 gives me a plus 2v. And we're still subtracting here, so I'm going to do the opposite of this sign. So these two cancel. That's what we want. And 3v minus 2v just gives me v. Okay, now I bring down the negative 1 down to here. So I now have v minus 1. So what times v gives me v? Well, that's just a plus 1. 1 times v is v. I'm subtracting here. So that cancels. And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 1, remember it's negative 1 minus negative 1, same thing as negative 1 plus 1, that equals 0. So we have no remainder and we are done. So v cubed minus 3v squared plus 3v minus 1 divided by v minus 1 gives me v squared minus 2v plus 1. So this means now that v minus 1 times v squared minus 2v plus 1 equals this whole thing right here, equals v cubed minus 3v squared plus 3v minus 1. Okay, if you multiplied this out, you would get this. That's what we've done here. Remember that multiplication is the opposite of division. All right, so we can actually put this in our calculator and check it. I'm going to show you how to do that next here. All right, I have my calculator pulled up here, so I'm going to put parentheses x minus 1, that's basically this v minus 1 here, and then another set of parentheses, so times this, the answer that we got, so that would be x squared minus 2x plus 1, close parentheses, and then in y2, I'm going to put this, the what we started with, the polynomial we started with, so that would be x cubed minus 3x squared, uh, plus 3x minus 1. Now I'm going to go, whoops, I see I am making a mistake here, so let's clear that back out. 
forgot when you raise it to a power other than two, you've got to move to the right to get your cursor back down. So let's fix that. Negative 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. All right, now that's done correctly. Now we're going to go on our table, and as long as y1 is equal to y2 in the table, we know we did it correctly and we see that it is. So notice when we look, no matter what value of x we have, y1 is always equal to y2. So v minus 1 times v squared minus 2v plus 1 is the same thing as v cubed minus 3v squared plus 3v minus 1, just like we said it was. So we know we did it correctly. So again, that is one way that you can check it in your calculator. All right, let's look at the next example. Okay, here is our next example. So we have x x minus 2 and x cubed plus x squared minus 7x plus 2. Okay, so first step, what times x would give us x cubed? Well, that's x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. That's what we wanted. x squared times negative 2 is negative 2x squared. Now we need to subtract these, so we're going to do the opposite of this. So we have basically have x squared plus 2x squared, so that's 3x squared. We need to bring down this negative 7x here. All right. And now what times x would give us 3x squared? Well, that's a plus 3x. So that gives us 3x squared, and then 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. We are subtracting these still, so these cancel, that's what we wanted. Negative 7x plus 6x is negative 1x. Okay, we bring down that 2 right there, and now what times x would give us negative x? Well, that's minus 1. So x times negative 1 is negative x. We are subtracting still here. Negative 1 times negative 2 is plus 2. So we get a remainder of 0. That's great. And we now have answered the question. So our answer is x squared plus 3x minus 1. That means that x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 1 is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 7x plus 2. Okay, we can check it in our calculator just like we did before. So let's do that. We have x minus 2, close parentheses, times x squared plus 3x minus 1, close parentheses, y2. We need to put this part in there. So x cubed plus x squared minus 7x plus 2. Go on our table and we see that y1 equals y2 no matter what the value of x is so we know that we did it correctly. All right, let's look at the third example. All right, here we have example 3 and long division it's just one of those long division of polynomials is just one of those things where you just have to practice it and get the process down and then it's really not uh, that difficult. So it just takes practice. All right, so let's look at this. We have n plus 1 and n cubed minus n squared minus 3n minus 1. All right, so first question we ask is what times n would give us n cubed? Well, that's n squared. So that gives us n cubed there, and n squared times 1 is plus n squared, we are subtracting, so we're doing the opposite. So n cubed minus n cubed cancels, that's what we wanted, and now we effectively have negative n squared minus n squared, so that's negative 2n squared, okay? We bring down the negative 3n, okay? What times n would give us negative 2n squared? Well, that's negative 2n, so negative 2n squared here, we are subtracting, and negative 2n times 1 is negative 2n. So these will cancel, and we have negative 3n minus negative 2n, which becomes negative 3n plus 2n. So that's a negative n. Then we bring down this negative 1, 
and we now have uh, we're looking for what times n would give us negative n and that would be a minus 1 so that's minus n and negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1 we're doing the uh, opposite here because we're subtracting so those cancel and we're left with a remainder of 0 and we have our answer which we can check in our calculator I'm not going to do that again uh, because we we did that on the first two examples but basically we would just in y1 we would type parentheses n plus 1 close parentheses new parentheses n squared minus 2n uh, minus 1 and then in y2 we're going to type this original which is n cubed minus n squared minus 3n minus 1 of course we're using uh, x in place of n for our graphing calculator and then we just check our table and make sure that y1 and y2 are both equal and as long as they are we know that we did it correctly and and this is the correct answer okay all right let's move on to the fourth and final example for this video okay here we have the fourth and final example in this example we're going to be left with a remainder so I'm going to show you how to handle that so we have 2a minus 1 and we're dividing 2a cubed minus 7a squared plus 9a minus 6 by the 2a minus 1 so what times 2a gives us 2a cubed well that would be a squared so a squared times 2a is 2a cubed then a squared times negative 1 is negative a squared we are subtracting these meaning we do the opposite so these cancel like we want and negative 7a squared minus negative a squared becomes negative 7a squared plus a squared so that gives us negative 6a squared now we're gonna bring down this 9a alright so what times 2a would give us negative 6a squared well that's negative 3a so that gives us negative 6a squared here negative 3a times negative 1 is plus 3a we're doing the opposite here remember so these will cancel and we have 9 minus 3a gives us 6a we bring down the negative 6 here now what times 2a would give us 6a well that would be a plus 3 so 3 times 2a is 6a 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 so these cancel and we have negative 6 minus negative 3 becomes negative 6 plus 3 so that's negative 3 so we have a remainder of negative 3 so our final answer instead of just being a squared minus 3a plus 3 is going to be a squared minus 3a plus 3 minus 3 over 2a minus 1 okay so you take whatever your remainder is so we had a minus 3 here so it's going to be minus that over this part right here so minus 3 over 2a minus 1 so our final answer would be this right here okay and you can even check that in your calculator it's a little more difficult to enter this part in but you can do it by using uh, parentheses okay all right, well, that's it for this video. In the second video, I will use synthetic division to work the first three examples that we did in this video so you can see that process as well. I will see you in the next video.